Hello and welcome to my quick, intense, and uh, what I hope will be helpful video on how to do a move user. This is how I do it anyway. As you can see here, I'm starting in the GroupWise administration. This is for GroupWise 14. These same steps apply to previous versions of GroupWise generally. The menu, of course, will look differently in Console 1. So let's start with taking a look at our system here. I've got some domains, I've got some post offices, I've got some users. I'm going to work through a move from post office 1 and move a user to post office 2. Where do I want to start? Well, if you take a look um, at the maintenance options you have for a specific user here, before I move a user, I want to do a structure check, I want to do a content check, and you might as well check files, uh, attachment files as well. You want this user as clean as possible. Nothing is better at finding a problem with the user database than trying to move the user. Anybody who's done a significant number of moves will know what I'm talking about. Now, in addition to running these options, if you can, you also want to expire and reduce move as little mail as possible. If you've got corporate policies that allow you to delete based on a certain number of days, then go ahead and fill that in here. Let's say 320, whatever it is, items larger than, if you can. Clean things up. Again, you want to move as little as possible. All right, so let's go back to our post office, PO1. We're going to look at the users. Let's move a bunch of users. Now, before I pull the trigger and actually move these users, I want to connect to the domain that owns the post office I'm moving them to. If that didn't make sense, let's take a look. I've got three domains here. Domain is my primary, domain two. I, I'm going to move users from post office one, which is under my primary, to post office two, which is under DOM two. So I want to connect to that DOM two so that I'm connected to the domain that owns PO two, which is where I'm going to move the users to. All right, so here we go. There are my users. Let's just grab a few of these. Hopefully some of these have some mail so we can see what's going on. There's our option to move right there. You select the post office we're moving to. Do you want to create nicknames? At this point, no. All right, so now those moves are underway. How do we tell what's going on? Click on system over here. Click on user move status. Uh, oh, look at that. We've got a bunch of users that have already completed. Um, those were probably completely empty test users. All right, so destination updated. Move complete. Build item request. Looks like Barney had some mail. Gina, her source post office has been updated. Here's a little trick. If you're doing lots of moves, clear all the completes. Get them out of your way so you can focus on what's left. So now how do we know what's really going on with this move? What we're going to do here is uh, open up the POA, the web page for the target. This is uh, PO2, DOM2. So I'm going to click on log files here and I'm going to parse on the word move. This uh, will show me everything in the current log file that contains the word move, which just happens to be what we're after. Actually, I've switched to another log file here. This is the log of a single user move because I wanted to show you what it looks like start to finish. Again, I've parsed on the word move in the log file and you can see this is again our user Gina. There's her file ID. You can see the move process start. We get an inventory count. We get an initial count of how many items there are. We make the connection. You do see the target post office agent there. We establish the login and then we start moving items and they move and they move. The thing to look at here is the inventory count. It should be regularly decreasing about every 50 lines or so you'll see what the current remaining inventory is. That works its way down. Ideally it gets to zero. Also at the bottom here, the last of the move, if I can get the mouse to behave, the address book comes across. If you've got personal address books, they come across. Rules come across. Everything that's left that isn't a message gets packed across, updated. This line right here, sending the purge notification. 
That actually goes back to the source post office and that is the final action. Once that takes place, you know the move is done. Now, of course, not every move is as smooth and slick as these have been. My next video will deal with how to troubleshoot a problem move and how to fix it. Thank you. Thank you.